It's Tuesday, and you're listening to Backstage with Hashtag RDM right here on the Radio Random Network. I am Hashtag RDM Russell Devin McLean. I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, or wherever you're listening to us from. I have a phenomenal show for you today. Myself and the real estate lady, Miss Tanya Halford, will be joining me to talk with a country music recording artist, Mr. Joe Nichols. And Dr. Marilyn Glassberg, we're going to be chatting about Joe's involvement in the Breathless Campaign to raise awareness for IDS, which stands for Idiopathic Pulmonary Fibrosis. And we're going to be talking about Joe's career as one of country music's hottest stars. I'm also going to be talking about some upcoming events and giving some shout-outs. I'm also going to announce the winner of our February giveaway for the Stella Pardon autographed CD. And I'll tell you a little bit about next month's giveaway and how you can sign up and participate in our monthly giveaways and contests. If this is your first time tuning in, I want to say welcome, and I hope you enjoy the show, which I'm sure you will. Just a friendly reminder that all of the links talked about on today's show can be found at our home on the web at www.radiorandomnetwork.com. You can also find out how to support us, subscribe, or rate and review the show on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And listen to past episodes and interviews from Radio Random Network's weekly shows. Now, with all of that said, guys, it's time to kick off this week's show. Let's go ahead and kick the intro music. And when I come back, I'll talk about some upcoming events. Then myself and Miss Tanya Halford will be joined by country music's hottest superstar, Mr. Joe Nichols and Dr. Marilyn Glassberg. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. This is Radio Random Network. Find us on the web at www.radiorandomnetwork.com. Today's episode of Backstage with Hashtag RDM is powered by Amazon. When you do your online shopping at Amazon, using our link, radiorandomnetwork.com forward slash Amazon, they kick a little bit of money back to us at no extra cost to you. So next time you do some online shopping with Amazon, do it using radiorandomnetwork.com forward slash Amazon. That's RadioRandomNetwork.com forward slash Amazon. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on iTunes. You're backstage with hashtag RDM on Radio Random Network. Now, here's the host, hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean. All right, y'all, upcoming events. I just want to remind everybody that the Texas Indie Music Fest will return March 16th, 17th, and 18th. This year's Texas Indie Music Fest will be at the Red Shed Tavern. It's going to feature Lady Lake recording artists, the Jimmy Wilden Band, and also Dave Martinez. They're going to be joining us here not too far in the near future to talk about the Texas Indie Music Fest. And for more information about the Texas Indie Music Fest, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Texas Indie Fest. You can check out the additional information they have available. And you can also and you can also stay up to date on uh, any changes or, or announcements that they have by, by visiting uh, facebook.com forward slash Texas Indie Fest. Also, I want to remind everybody that next Tuesday, I'm going to be joined by American music icon, Ronnie McDowell. Ronnie just released a brand new autobiography along with Mr. Scott England. He's going to be here to talk about the book and, and a whole lot more. I also want to remind you before we go that the two-year anniversary of Radio Random Network is coming up uh, March 7th. We're going to celebrate it on the Russell and Mudtooth Show. We'll have more information coming out for that. Best way to keep up for that is just to sign up for our monthly newsletter at RadioRandomNetwork.com. And uh, that's all for this week's upcoming events. If you have an upcoming event that you would like to advertise or promote here at Radio Random Network on our weekly shows, all you have to do is send us an email, sales at RadioRandomNetwork.com. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting here with the real estate lady, Miss Tanya Halford, and we're joined by country music recording artist Joe Nichols and Dr. Marilyn Glassberg to talk about the Breathless Campaign. Guys, how are you doing today? We're good. Good, thank you. Yes, indeed. So, real quick, what's the weather like in Nashville today, guys? 
Uh, Not bad. Yeah, I haven't been outside since about 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little know. cold at that hour. Yeah. So we're going to talk to Joe here in a few minutes about some of his upcoming tour stuff. But first and foremost, very most importantly, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, IPS, also known as uh, idiopathic pulmonary <laughs> fibrosis. That's, that's a tongue twister there, guys. Give us a little background on, on this disease. So idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a... Uh, one of a group of diseases that involve the tissues of the lung and there is scarring in the bases of the lung. When the bases of the lung get scarred because there's normally more oxygen that comes in from the air and goes to those parts of the lung, oxygen can't get out through the blood to organs that need to get the oxygen, including your heart, your brain, your kidneys, your lung. And so patients become very short of breath. They develop a dry cough and can have the chest discomfort. Unfortunately, those those symptoms aren't very specific, right? And so they can be confused with asthma and, and emphysema. And you'll hear you'll hear Joe's dad's story of of the the problems of making the diagnosis and the misdiagnosis, and the importance of early referral uh, to to get an accurate diagnosis, which includes going to your doctor when you develop the symptoms and referral to a lung specialist, a pulmonologist, so that the diagnosis can be made correctly. It's uh, got a survival of about two to five years, so patients really need to go early to see their physician. Well, real quick, Doc, what what are some of the early um, stages? Most of it is the shortness of breath that comes on. It can come on slowly, and they develop a very severe cough as, as the lung gets more impaired, more gets more scarred. So when they develop the symptoms, as soon as they get the symptoms, they need to go to their doctor. That's the trick. Commonly confused with like COPD and asthma. Um, what what are some of the um, are there any tests that could be done that could that in the early stages that can differentiate these? Certainly, the referral to the to the primary doctor. Going to see your doctor is important, and that doctor will refer you to a lung specialist like myself, where we'll do a series of tests um, to accurately diagnose what the cause is. Uh, not all of it's going to be idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, obviously, but it's very important that we make this diagnosis because you know, we can actually treat these patients now in 2016. Right, and, and I, I read that uh, it affects like 132,000 Americans. Um, that, that's a pretty large number, and, and it's four times more common than ALS and Lou Gehrig's. So it, it's yes. pretty serious disease, but, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, this is the first time I've heard of it. So, uh, you know, I think it's a great thing, that you, you know, what you guys are doing, trying to promote this and, right, and get the awareness the, uh, out. That's the idea, right, the idea of the breathlessipf.com and the breathless campaign is really to, to promote awareness. That's what we need to do. Uh, with all of that said, Joe, now your father was affected by this disease, uh, correct? He was, yeah. He was 46 uh, when he passed away of IPF, and uh, that was back in 2002. Um, he was misdiagnosed for about four years, starting in about 1996. You know, he had a really violent cough, um, very, very short of breath, couldn't uh, walk very far without, you know, trying to catch his breath. Um, went to several doc- doctors, several hospitals uh, that, uh, you know, di- diagnosed him anywhere from uh, tuberculosis, emphysema, asthma. Um, you know, he was told all these things, and then finally in 2000, after having zero answers to, to why he was going through what he was going through, uh, the doctor finally correctly diagnosed him with uh, IVF, in which he died about two, about two years later. So it's a very painful and very quick process, uh, and since then we've been looking for ways to, uh, to help at least get the awareness out there, at least uh, know some things for, for my own family's sake. Um, and finally, this, uh, this campaign, the Breathless Campaign, uh, came about and fantastic idea with fantastic people and and uh, they're getting the word out there spreading information about you know how to get uh, diagnosed how to get to a, a, uh, to a place where you can either include it or exclude it from from what you think you might be going through so uh, the breathless campaign's been great the breathless ips.com website is wonderful at uh, at kind of guiding you through uh, what this is so I'd say go to the website immediately, breathlessipf.com, if you're having any kind of symptoms or, or anything like that, and also you know, see your doctor immediately if you think that this could be you. Now, Joe, when you when your father was uh, when you finally uh, correctly diagnosed with this disease, man, I mean, uh, was you aware of it uh, beforehand? Uh, no, no. The first I heard of it was was when he was diagnosed with uh, IPF. I did some research at the time. Uh, of course, when he was diagnosed correctly, they said it was a very fatal, very terminal, 
um, disease that, you know, you only have a limited amount of time left. The time you get pretty progressed. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't know anything about it. You know, I still to this day wish there was a lot more information about it. Um, but, but that's kind of the purpose of breath, the breathless campaign is to make sure that we get more information, more, make sure people out there that have symptoms have more information and their families can, can have information, maybe urge somebody to go to the doctor that might be, uh, given, uh, kind of symptoms. So it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm stepping in the right direction, huge step in the right direction. You know, something I, I, uh, my family and I deeply wish was available to us back in 2000, 2002. Um, but here we are in 2016 where families can actually go to a website and have, you know, some kind of information, some kind of uh, hope or some kind of, uh, like I said, information dialogue with, with other people about uh, the the disease IPS. BreathlessIPS.com, they can find out all that stuff. Yes, indeed. And again, I, I, the, uh, for the listeners out there, the, the website is breathlessIPF.com, and it features a number of engaging resources for people uh, living with a uh, IPF, and, and, and you can learn more about the campaign and everything. Um, with all that said, real quick, Joe, I, don't, I know we got a couple more minutes left, but uh, uh, how, how's your recording career going these days, man? Have you been busy? Going fantastic. Yeah, man, we're, uh, we're bu- as busy as ever. This last year was a pretty heavy touring year, and we had to start a record and try to finish it, you know, in the middle of that. So we're, uh, we're almost done with the album. It's been about 14 months in the, in the making, and so uh, we'll We'll complete that, dude. We'll we'll wrap that up and hopefully deliver that uh, to the public maybe in uh, October, November, something like that. So the tour will start in April. New single sometime around the same time, you know, mid April, middle of April or beginning of May. And uh, like I said, a new album in October, November. With a minute left, uh, Joe, uh, you, your brand new CD coming. I mean, your brand new album is going to be coming out soon. Uh, can you give us a little insight of what fans can expect from you? <laughs> well, you know, it's going to be a lot like uh, Cricket, the last album we put out. You know. Uh, gonna have some traditional country on there, stuff that we probably, you know, we all realize probably won't be on the radio, uh, but it feels like it rounds the album out right. You know, um, I, I've always tried to at least maintain a traditional country feel at the same time, putting out songs like 1775 and Yeah, which kind of blends itself to uh, 2016. So hopefully that this record uh, connects like the last one did, and the last one was pretty successful for us. So hope everybody likes it. Cool deal. For more information about Joe Nichols and, and to find out where he's going to be on tour at, if he's coming to an area near you, and uh, to keep up with his uh, latest album, I think it's uh, JoeNichols.com. And for more information about IPF, all you got to do is go to BreathlessIPF.com. And Dr. Marilyn and, and Joe, I want to I want to uh, personally thank you guys for calling in and, and, and making us aware of this disease and everything. And we're going to do everything we can in our power down here to get the word out. Joe, good luck with your album, and uh, we hope to talk to you soon. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all talking to us. All right, that was Joe Nichols and Dr. Marilyn Glassberg raising awareness for Breathless. And like I said a while ago, for more information about that, you can go to www.breathlessipf.com. And just a friendly reminder that all of the links that we've talked about on today's show can be found in today's show notes at www.radiorandomnetwork.com. All right, guys, with all of that said, we're going to be right back. So don't go Nowhere. Today's show is powered by Gamefly.com. Sign up for a premium free 30 day trial specifically for the listeners of Backstage with hashtag RDM. Just for you, Gamefly is offering a free trial. All you have to do is sign up at GameflyOffer.com forward slash Backstage to start with a free trial today. That's GameflyOffer.com forward slash Backstage. All right, we're back, and I want to send a big shout-out to Joe Nichols and Dr. Marilyn Glassberg for joining us here on the Radio Random Network. I also want to say thanks to the real estate lady, Miss Tanya Halford, for joining me for the interview as well. Be sure to go check out the Breathless Campaign. You can just go to radiorandomnetwork.com forward slash Joe for today's episode of Backstage with Hashtag RDM, and you will find all the links necessary to find out more about the Breathless Campaign. With all of that said, it's time to announce the winner of the Stella Parton autographed album Mountain Songbird a sister's tribute and the winner is our friend on Twitter Miss at Wit Jen Gina Gina I want to send a very personal thank you to you for retweeting and signing up for our monthly giveaways 
And I sincerely hope you enjoy Stella Parton's album, A Mountain Songbird, a sister's tribute. You can also go back and listen to the interview I did with Stella Parton not too long ago at RadioRandomNetwork.com. It should be up there. Uh, with all of that said, if you would like to be automatically entered in our monthly contest and giveaways, all you have to do is sign up for our monthly newsletter at RadioRandomNetwork.com forward slash sign up. And you can find that link in today's descriptions and show notes as well. I also want to send a big shout out to everyone that helped us become ranked number 11 on the new and noteworthy charts at iTunes. And thank you so much for leaving your ratings and reviews. And uh, if you would like to support the Radio Random Network, it's the best way to do it. Just if you would like to show your support to backstage with hashtag RDM, all you have to do is just go leave us a rating and review at iTunes, five stars preferably, and it's much appreciated. Hell, it's greatly appreciated when you do that. It helps us with the outreach of the show. I can't thank you all enough. Speaking of podcasts and Twitter and doing noteworthy, this week in the Potter Family Spotlight on Backstage with hashtag RDM, I want to encourage all of our listeners around the world to go listen to the Drunken Dork Podcast. That's right, the Drunken Dork Podcast. Those guys are hilarious. They're always drinking, and it's a podcast about pop culture, news, and booze. You can find them on iTunes, Stitcher, Facebook, and the free Couch Party app at the Google Plus Store. Or you can just visit their website, drunkendorkpodcast.wordpress.com. Go check them out. Great show, great guys, always giving us shout-outs. And by the way, guys, if you're listening, really enjoyed the new episode featuring your review with Deadpool. And if you ha if you haven't heard it yet, guys, go to at Drunken Dwarf on, on Twitter. You can also follow us on Twitter at Backstage underscore RDM. You can find us on Facebook as well. You can find all those links at RadioRandomNetwork.com. I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I want to thank you so much for hanging with us, and I hope you join us next week for the American music icon, Ronnie McDowell. With all of that said, thank you so much for listening. We'll be back Friday with the Russell and Mudtooth Show. I am Hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean. This is the Radio Random Network, and you've been listening to Backstage with Hashtag RDM, and I'll talk at you next week. <laughs> Every Tuesday at 7.05 p.m. Central Standard Time for a show created for musicians and music lovers alike. Backstage with hashtag RDM. For more information about the host, guest, or our other weekly programs, visit RadioRandomNetwork.com. Thanks for listening. 